let's just have a word on Crystal Palace, who have had an equally great finish to the season. In fact, in terms of form, I think they're the most informed team in the Premier League for the last few weeks, which is was crazy. And they finished tenth in the end. And I thought that position in the table was going to be where you'd see the likes of Wolves or Brighton. They've kind of trailed off, and Palace have kept this consistency under Oliver Glasner. And okay, yeah, the, the finish here by winning five 0 against Villa was helped by Villa just not really being present. But Mateta got a hat trick. Eze got two. Could have had more. Elise was absolutely on fire and central to it. Dave, there's a makings there of a really competitive team next season, isn't there? Absolutely, and I, and I just hope it isn't curtailed in in a way because I think I've seen rumours that Dougie Friedman's apparently yeah, officially to agreed to go to Newcastle, which would be a real mm. shame to be honest because they've made some real progress. Um, but you're right, I think it would have been really interesting to see if Glasner had gone there a little bit earlier in the season, just how far this Palace team could have gone, because they've been one of the best teams to watch, to be honest, since, uh-huh. since he's come in. Um, yeah. And I don't think they got, get the credit. If you look at the quality of the goals in these games, although Villa afforded them <laughs> so much space in behind, yeah, <laughs> the Texas finishes were ridiculous. So, so good. So clinical. Um, I think got to give him bit of praise because that's 16 league goals I think in his previous yeah. three seasons I think I don't think he even scored over 10 goals in total over yeah I can seasons, tell you which is ridiculous he got 11 in his first 80 for Crystal Palace and then I think he's got 13 in his last 11 under Glasner wow that's some transformation do you know what I mean that, ridiculous that, that, that a yeah. coach can come in that, that, you can see why Bayern uh, looks keen to apparently bring him in apparently the mm. more quoted of of paying 100 million compensation or something ridiculous. Well, I don't take anyone they can yeah. get at this rate, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I saw Thomas results, Frank though. today. What, linked to I saw Bayern? them linked with Thomas Frank today. Yeah. Well, I, I saw them actually, The fan, apparently the players are pleading for Thomas Tuchel to stay. Apparently he's more popular than we realise at Bayern. So, yeah. Let's not take the spotlight anyway. off uh, Crystal Palace because since they lost no, to sorry. Manchester City at the start of April, they've beaten Liverpool, they've beaten West Ham, they've beaten Newcastle, they've beaten Ooh. Manchester United, Dave, they've beaten Wolves, they've beaten Villa. You know, the teams they're beating on this run-in have been really impressive. And there's been a gear change there, hasn't there, somewhere? I'll ask you, Miles, actually, on this one. What has been that gear change from Glasner? Because when he first joined, we watched the first game under him and started mm-hmm. analysing the differences. They were subtle, but they were there. He's had a really good run now with embedding his style on yeah. his players. What is the difference for you, do you think? It's funny because actually, if you remember, we did that preview of what Glasnow would bring to the Palace. Yeah. And one of the things I talked about was the system of that front three and how they would kind of rotate between them and how that would really suit Elise, Eze and Mateta. And that has exactly come to fruition in, in a way that I think even Glasnow couldn't have estimated how well it's done. Keeping yeah. them fit and playing together is huge for them and they have been outstanding they've taken to a system so quickly because they're incredibly intelligent footballers with excellent movement and vision and that's exactly what Gladstone would want from his forward players plus the addition of Wharton in January he's been yeah. sensational and pa- let's be honest Palace will have a job on their hands to keep hold of all of these players I think they might cash in on one of them and it's probably most likely Elise because I think he's got the buyout in there there's already talking yeah. Villa are looking really heavily at bringing him in for Champions League which would be incredible Palace will look at that and trust that Glasner will be able to either keep hold of these players and convince them that another season with them could help them kick on even further or replace him and build because they they yeah. look like they're really on the up now, Palace. And that's what the fans wanted. They all respected Hodgson massively and appreciated what he did. But how many times have we seen Palace's owners try and be ambitious in the managerial market, try and kick on and do something a bit different and it not work? Well, this one looks like it will. Like, yeah. It didn't quite get there for Vieira. Frank De Boer was the most ridiculous thing we've ever seen. But here we are. They've gone again. They've brought in an exciting coach. And this time, the football is paying off. And that's excellent for Palace fans. They deserve it. 